Control isn't punishment, it's power, it's acquisition. Carla, I might not ask you to fight, but I will. For the sake of my family, but also for yours. And for the way you want to live. Now, I know everyone is asking you to, ask all, to answer all these sort of retrospective questions, to sort of put everything in perspective. Are there questions that are easier for you to answer in that vein? And are there questions that you would just assume we wait 10 years on? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it's like, how do you feel? I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of just like, <laughs> I don't really feel anything. <laughs> like, I'm kind of, um, yeah, it's weird. Because you still feel like it's still so much part of your job. I'm not like, yeah, it's, it's very much in the present. It's, I'm, not, I'm not nostalgic about it yet. It hasn't ended. <laughs> were there moments of nostalgia as you were sort of filming the last days here and you were sort of looking back? Or do you not really not look back at all? Yeah, no, I mean, even... I know Taylor and Kristen had a, had a moment where they like when they were having their last scene together and they were like, like oh this is our thing I, I don't know I I didn't really feel that way about it I, I was kind of because I kept we kept getting called back for reshoots all the time so I was like it's, it's never ending <laughs> um, yeah and so by the time we finally finished we're just running away. <laughs> So you never felt that sort of last day of school, last day of summer camp, let's keep in touch, we'll all be friends forever kind of moment? Well, I mean, we, we, the final thing we did as a group um, was in Vancouver, I think, and it was three weeks of night shoots, it was pouring with rain and freezing, and everyone just ran off at the end, didn't say goodbye to each other. And then the final thing that me and Kristen and Michael Sheen did together was... Uh, just a little bit of like this action scene reshoot and the camera kept breaking the entire time that everyone was pissed off then too. It's, the, it's a great ending. <laughs> now, in this movie, Edward sort of sheds a little bit of the internal turmoil that he, that has been sort of plaguing him and keeping him going for the past few movies. Do you miss that or did you enjoy playing sort of a, a more even keel, maybe even happy at times, Edward? Yeah, I mean, it felt like it was kind of easier in this. I mean, there was nothing... Because he was, he's suddenly more instinctive rather than just introspective all the time. Uh, he was, you know, playing someone who's constantly worried it, it does have a weight to it. Um, but I got why, and I was also I think just because I got older at the same time, it sort of you sort of, sort of, you sort of level out a bit. <laughs> now. As you look at sort of what's coming up for you, you obviously made a lot of films sort of between these various movies. Do any of them particularly represent what you think you want to do as you go forward? Yeah, I mean, all of them. I think even in the individual Twilights, it was, there's a kind of progression to them. I think a very subtle one. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of... I think now that they're finished, it, it's... Um, it's good that the fear of what um, what to do next is, is great. Because um, no matter what I did in between the Twilight movies, you'd just go into another Twilight and it would just sort of reset. So it was a good, it was a security blanket in some ways, but uh, but at the same time, it did, people kept forgetting what you did in between. So you weren't really making like a body of work in, in, in people's minds, in the audience's minds. So I think this year I've got I mean, after Cosmopolis, I kind of, I, I did this movie with Cronenberg and it was kind of, it was really, it made me think really differently about what I could do. Um, and so I signed on to basically as different uh, characters I could possibly get my hands on. Um, all of which are absolutely terrifying, so, <laughs> so hopefully it'll be good. Find out what's next in movies, music, and TV at hitfix.com.